Google Webmaster Tools Data Highlighter. Hello and welcome back again. In this video session, I'm going to show you how to use Data Highlighter um, feature that Google Webmaster Tools makes available for website owners like me and you. You simply locate the menu option and click on it and then it's going to give you the intro video here and also give you a bit more insights to read through it. So Data Highlighter basically is a user-friendly option to highlight certain elements of your website. Okay, It's to do with structured data and all you do is you simply give the URL details of a typical landing page that you may have. Now, it has different item types here. These are called item types. You can mark up products, local business, events, and all the rest. Keeping in mind that the usage of the tool is the same for all of them. So I'm marking up a typical blog post, so therefore that will be classified as an article, logically, right? So let me choose that. It gives me an option to tag this page and others similar to it. Or I can say, you know what, I just want to tag this page only. Now, the reason that you may want to create different sets is because, let's say, I've got a contact us page, right? And within that contact us page, I'm um, providing information for my local business. If that's the case, this is what I would do, and I would just tag that page only, okay? But if I want to tag different pages that look the same, all I do, I give that URL, okay? And I say, okay, you know what? There is articles, and I have many pages similar to it. So let's press OK, and let's start highlighting. Google's gone ahead and fetched the page so that I can use my mouse left click button and start highlighting things, right? That's what Data Highlighter is all about. It's an ability for me to use my mouse button to highlight certain elements of my landing pages. As we can see, these are called data items and this field, the title is required. The rest may not be, okay? So when you see a required field, field it has to be um, highlighted okay so we've got a little gear icon here whereby you have access to help section to read more about it you have tips and tricks for best practices you should definitely look through it also we have settings for specifying um, date time format or language as well okay so you can play around with all that stuff as well you can clear all tags, so that means if I say an author, let's say that's the author, it isn't, but I can actually clear that through that option here as we saw. We can also add missing tags manually, so that means I can add tags manually, okay? Keep in mind, when you add tags manually, it will override, okay, it will override what you're doing when you're highlighting so if you highlight this and give details here and then go ahead and add missing tags that are the same when you add it through the manual option here it will override the rest so keep that in mind okay so let's go back and let's start highlighting remember because a typical landing page will be the same as far as its structure on your website okay Choose to highlight elements where you know, let's say, my title on all my blog posts are located there. So therefore, it is only logical for me to highlight that portion as my title. Whereby, if I was to highlight this as my title, okay, well, <laughs> then my other landing pages may have different information. So that's going to uh, be not smart for me, okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is, Look at your landing page, look where the, the, the certain elements are on it, and then highlight them accordingly. 
use your mouse button press and hold left click and then highlight and when you let go it's going to give you an option to uh, specify what that um, portion is all about okay so that's the title as we saw it dynamically um, put that information there for me so what we're doing is we're training Google as to what that landing page structure is all about okay now I've scrolled down the bottom because um, the footer information that I have is the same for all of my landing pages so therefore I can confidently say well that is the author I want to put that information as the author of this website okay so I can say date published I actually don't have that information on my blog posts but uh, most content management systems like WordPress actually have date time um, information on the posts so if that's the case all you then would have to do is highlight that date time and say well that's the date published okay now my landing pages are structured so that I have this image on all my landing pages okay so then I can say well that's the image as we see it's gone ahead and put that information there for me so it's trying to learn okay through this data highlighter tool as to what my website is all about okay so category I think that's an important element let me choose this menu link as my category okay now I don't have ratings on my landing pages but you may have if that's the case you simply highlight it as such okay you simply highlight your rating wherever it's located and then say well that's the rating out of so many votes so basically data highlighting is as simple as what I've just shown you so far we've just used our mouse button and data highlighter tool to highlight certain elements to tell Google what that structure of my landing page is all about where is what where is th these details is what data highlighter allows me to do tell Google the structure of my landing page okay so let me hit finish and let's see what happens now it's gone ahead and said okay you know what on your website as far as we're concerned we've got over 49 pages that you can actually name as my articles for example you can name it anything you want and you can create a page set so let me hit create page set so what it's doing now is it's gone ahead and randomly pulled another page to say to me okay you know what you've highlighted one page but give us more examples so that we don't make any mistakes as far as understanding your structure of your landing page okay so as we can see it's asking for more um, examples but as I've said to you okay you see this page itself although it's a different page it still has that information at that location so therefore I actually don't have to uh, modify it I can say you know what this different page example is the same okay or I can actually add different information okay but you, you know I encourage you to do that at the first training page okay so let's hit save as in let's hit next it's gonna go ahead fetch another URL to say okay you know what is is this the title on this page as well is this the category on this page as well is this the author on this page as well and because it is I just hit next and it's gonna go ahead and fetch another page it's saying okay how about this page the tag seems unusual okay now when it says that let's hit back now what happened because I was in the middle of it it's gone ahead and automatically saved that for us okay so 
at this at this moment I can actually delete it because the status is unpublished okay if it was published I can unpublish it and then work on it more okay let me hit my um, my page set again to go back into it and start over where I was here as we can see okay it's saying you know what as far as the example 4 is concerned you you are um, you know we, 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 we want you to give us more information okay so it's gone ahead and taking me back there I can say you know what yes the, the com is not the author let me clear that tag now I can re-highlight it and say well rankia.com is the author you see now I can go back and say all right let me hit finish okay it's saying okay the example page review not completed okay because okay where are we where are we where are we yes yes well it isn't completed because I didn't complete it now it's taking me back to the the page 4 let's go back let's say that is the author because it's having problems with that author detail here right it seems unusual but you know that is the author okay because it has a .com whereby most authors use their name that's why it's it's getting confused now right but it makes no difference because I'm happy with it and I know for a fact that's the author detail that I want to give right that is the author as far as I'm concerned so I train Google as such through data highlighter right so let me just hit finish because I am happy so far with the way that I've tagged everything else so you can surely double check everything okay and as we can see we don't have that little yellow uh, button there and all seems all seems okay okay I can see different um, examples and go back and change anything that I want and so on okay so I've given you the the basic usage of of um, data highlighter because I am happy with what I've done and I can say publish to see what happens now as we can see it is just a matter of using the data highlighter with your mouse button and simply highlighting different sets of pages to train Google um, to to better understand um, the structure of your website now this data highlighter is surely made available for most website owners but if you want to go in depth and learn exactly you know how that structured data and micro data and schema.org vocabulary works I've made available three part video sessions whereby I actually teach you the core concepts of structured data I thank you very much for learning with me if you haven't subscribed to Rankia SEO services YouTube channel I encourage you to do that because I will be adding more useful videos for website owners like me and you thank you for learning with me I'll talk to you in the next video session